Thanks for stopping by Malarkey. Let's fix this dryer. Remember to unplug it first. Okay. <clears throat> I've decided that while I am waiting for the carpet people to come, I am going to open up my dryer and I'm going to attempt to install a new heating element in it because it dries close like it's supposed to. Okay, in all the videos I've watched, the heating element was at the bottom, but in mine, it's in the back side, and I learned that after taking apart the front part of it. So yeah, okay, I knew how to do that. So now I'm going to take this apart, and I'm going to change the heating element in it. Okay, they wanted me to remove these wires from here, but I don't need to replace this thing, whatever it is, so I just took the bolt off of there to get that off of there. Okay, I need to remove this as well, and I really don't know how to get that off, but I know that this is the heating element here, so I'm actually going to unbolt it and then figure out what the fuck is going on and figure out how to get that thing off. Ta-da, I found the heating element. Yay! Okay, well, first of all, that's the sound of wind chimes that I keep backing up into, that's what you're hearing. But anyways, I'm not an electrician or an appliance repair person by any shape or form. However, based on the coloration of the brand new one and the coloration of the old one, I'm guessing that that's gonna be my fucking problem. Yeah, okay, let's figure this out. Okay, this one was a bitch. I had to use pliers to get it off, but looks like it's gonna be okay. Okay, so this is a high limit thermostat thingamabob and I need to remove this. Looks like it's like anchored on there and put it on the new one. So let's try that out. So this thing is held on here with this little clip. So I bent that clip in right there and um, now I'm gonna pull this side out at the same time that I pull it off of there. So I did use pliers and I was able to pull that out. Now I can pull this part off and then install it in the new. Ta-da, I got it off, woo woo! Oh my God, I hope this works. Almost there, I've got the new one. So I am going to put this on this clip and then tab it down, put it there. Then I'm gonna put the new one there. Mm, I'm probably gonna vacuum that first and attach the wires here, there, put the, I guess I didn't need to take those screws off. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put those screws back. And we will go from there. Woohoo! So I got it on here, put that through there, and then close that clip down to sit, to keep it intact. And that is on its proper spot. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the heating element back on there, again, after we vacuum. And then we are going to attach those wires and then screw it all back together. I have the heating element back on. I've got it screwed on. I've got these ones back on, which I didn't even need to fucking take off, so it was a waste of time. Um, and now I just need to reattach these wires and we're gonna give it a go. Okay, I totally took pictures as I was going, which I'm glad I did. So based on my photographs, that is how it is supposed to look. So here we go. Okay, so first of all, the bitch turned on. So that's just fucking amazing right there. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes and see if this thing is heating up. Okay, update, I just gave it 10 minutes. The clothes are drying. So this is amazing. I did it, woo woo! 